What's up everybody? It's Kelsey Brianna J here with a review on the new Chanel Holiday Collection. And this collection is called the Libre 2017 Numeros Rouges Collection. Everything in this collection is limited edition. What you see on my face is my look that I created using the products from the collection. So first, let's go ahead and talk about each one individually. And then we'll jump into swatches and then we'll do a mini tutorial. I was on Chanel.com. I always like to know the background of a collection, like what's the inspiration. I didn't see any of that information. All I know is that this is the holiday collection for 2017. Let's start off with the lipsticks. So on the website, it says that there are four numbered lipsticks reinvented by Lucia Pica in a rare red lacquer click case. So of the four different lipsticks, two of them are the Rouge Allure, which is the shinier lipsticks, the slip to it. They're very opaque. And then two of them are the Rouge Velvet lipsticks, and those are their matte formulas. These lipsticks are $37. The colors are really pretty. They are all red. So what's special about these is that it's in the red packaging. And if you guys know Chanel lipsticks, then you know that Chanel typically has the black packaging. And then it has the click case that comes out and the lipstick comes out. Chanel lipstick cases have always been my favorite. Like this is my favorite type of lipstick case. It's always been fancy. It's always classy and it looks so ladylike. I have the color number four. This one is a Rouge Allure and it is a orangey red color. And I'll show you guys swatches of that in a second. I didn't put that on today with my look because I felt like it didn't go with the eyes that I created. And I have on an olive shirt so I feel like I needed something neutral. This will be a really pretty color to wear during the holidays. And the packaging is so pretty. The red lacquered packaging looks so sophisticated. I really like that. Next, let's talk about the eyeshadow palette. So the description on Chanel's website says, To accentuate the intensity of the four shades of numerous rouges, Lucia Pica creates Trait D character. I'm sorry if I butchered that. A unique eye palette. Five eyeshadows and a harmony of brown, beige, and green. So this eyeshadow palette retails for $70. Of course, the packaging is really pretty. So this is the eyeshadow palette. It has five different colors in here. And it's a neutral palette. Looks really pretty in the palette. But the eyeshadow quality of this palette for me was not there. I did the majority of my eye using these colors. But I did reach out to do my transition color and to have a color to set my paint pot. Like I said, this palette is $70 and I don't think that it's worth the money because I feel like the pigmentation for the eyeshadows is just not there. And having been a fan of the newer releases of Chanel eyeshadows, especially the new quads, this one is not up to par with that. Like I absolutely love this. This one is a newer one. This one is in the color Road Movie. It came out with the collection that launched before this one. This is gorgeous like the colors in here are beautiful they blend well they're pigmented now everything is not going to be just super unique sometimes you need your staple products and so I think that this would have been a nice staple eyeshadow palette with that pop of green in there and the really pretty neutral warm tone these shades right here are very sheer these right here kind of gave me a little bit of a difficulty when blending them out they were a little bit patchy I didn't even attempt to use that green because I didn't like the browns I didn't definitely don't think it's worth $70. I can tell you some MAC dupes for these eyeshadows that work better for a fraction of the cost. All that glitters or naked lunch, rice paper, handwritten or yeah handwritten mystery humid. You're welcome. Next moving on to the ombre premiere. This one is in the color silver screen. This one retails for $36. It says that this is a smooth texture cream shadow that glides on effortlessly to leave an elegant satin finish. And this one is the limited edition one for the holiday collection. It's like a muted silver mixed with taupe. This is going to be pretty on somebody, but it's not that pretty on me. Colors like this on me always just look brown and just dirty and dingy. This is not a color that I personally like on my golden yellow undertone skin. It's not even like a grungy thing. It's just like not pretty to me. Nice formula though. And the last thing that I have is the blush in the color So Close. If you're gonna buy anything from this collection, the blush is what it is. Very pigmented, glides on, gives a beautiful sheen. I have it on now. I put it on with a very light hand. And this color is just everything. The color that it is in the pan, it could be that color on your face. But you can just go in light-handedly. You can remedy that issue. 
but this is $45 and again it's limited edition very small very edited collection I'm not a fan of the pieces that they chose to go together I like some of the things individually but all together I don't really like the look that they were going for and then I don't like the eyeshadow palette at all I feel like the colors that were selected were very interesting for a holiday collection in my opinion this one looks more so like a fall collection but to each its own let me know what you guys think down below but before we jump into the tutorial for this look I do have swatches of the things that I showed you that I have then immediately following that I will jump into the tutorial where I show you the eye and I apply a few other things so enjoy eyeshadow base on I set my eyeshadow base and then I applied a transition color because the trade D character palette does not have all of those colors for me I did dip into my trusty dusty Viseart neutral matte eyeshadow palette so now I'm going to dip into the Chanel traits D character palette and I'm going to take a detailed blending brush this one is a Chanel number 20 brush and I'm going to take this really pretty deepened warm toned brown I want this right in the crease area so I'm just going to build this color up back and forth in the crease and I'm going to go a little bit further in with this color and buff it out so that should be about where we are. This is going to be a very simple eye look. Now I'm going to dip into this darker color in the palette. And I'm going to take a fluffy 217 brush. And I just want that right on the very outer corner. And then blend it over. Place the majority of the color here. And then blend whatever is left over over. So I'm going to skip the inner corner because I'm going to apply the new Illusion D Ombre eyeshadow that I have. So I'm going to take this color here, this really pretty MAC rice paper lookalike color, and I'm going to apply that right underneath my brow bone. And this is going to be my under brow highlight. And then taking this silvery taupish color, I'm going to apply this on my lid. This color is very, very sheer. I'm applying it with packing motions, but it's like a wash of color. It's almost splotchy, but it's a sh light shimmery color, so that's really hard to do. And then I'm going to take the color Silver Screen with a pencil brush. This one is a Wayne Goss 05 brush. And I'm going to pack this on my inner tear ducts. And hopefully this adds just a little bit of pop. So now what I'm going to do is add a little bit of mascara. I'm going to take a little bit of that first brown color that we used from this palette and put that underneath my lash line. And rim the inner corner with silver screen and I'll be right back to finish off the look. So I finished off the eye look so now let's tie the rest of the look together. So in the collection 
this bright orange blush was included so i'm gonna put it on my face didn't put any of the red lips on because i feel like it was just too harsh of a contrast but i'm going to go in lightly with this blush this is a mac 137 brush and this is like a broom brush so basically it's going to get the lightest amount of pigment that i could possibly get and i'm gonna tap that off and i'm going to just lightly like dust that on my cheeks Yes, because based on the little swatch that I did earlier, this blush can take it there really quickly. So, don't go in with your regular blush brush thinking you're going to get regular results because this is very pigmented and you're not. This is the finished look and honestly, I'm not that impressed with the collection overall. I definitely love the blush. Chanel blushes are the only constant for me in the brand. That's pretty much the only thing that I always love from them. But this eyeshadow palette, I didn't like that. I don't think it's worth $70. This Illusion de Ombre, the quality is definitely there. But I don't particularly care for a muted silver toned color. On me, it almost looks dirty. And I really don't think it does anything for my complexion nor for my eye color. And the lips, the packaging is really pretty. But this color, the color that we've seen so many times before. I'm not like super wowed by anything but the blush. I love the blush. Visually, I don't really think that the collection pairs that well together. I feel like I had to bring in outside things and just kind of manipulate things to make it work. To look the way that I want it to look. Overall, I just think that the collection is okay and I'm pretty underwhelmed by it for it to be the holiday collection from Chanel. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Let me know if you're going to be picking up any of these pieces. I would love to know your opinions. And if you haven't, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys in my very next video. Smooches! Bye!